one of the important things that you need to be able to do is you need to be able to draw a border on your page. Now borders are applied pretty much to every drawing um, that you'll see in engineering. And in most instances, it does depend upon the standard, but in most instances, they are a 10 millimeter line. Well, they are lines spaced 10 millimeters inside the edge of each side of the drawing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my ruler and on this particular drawing, I'm gonna mark a 10 millimeter indent lightly there. I will use my sliding rule. Again, making sure that my sliding rule is parallel to my page. And then I don't wanna draw a line across the whole page. What I wanna do is I wanna come in 10 millimeters and then draw my line with my nice sharp H2 pencil. One line there. What I need to do then is mark the 10 millimeters at the top of the page. Again, 10 millimeters in from each edge, all the way along the page, stopping 10 millimeters before the end. And then finally, what we'll use is we'll use a set square. Lens against our parallel well, uh, rule to make sure that it's sitting nice and square, nice and even, happy days, and then draw in the sides of our border. The next thing we need to do is we need to add the title block. Now a title block generally presents information to the reader about who, who's done the drawing, what it's called, what scale it's at, when the drawing was made, things like that. And sometimes a title block may be a big block in the corner here. Uh, some drawings have it up in the top left here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick to the standard that applies it across the bottom of the whole page. It's, it's a nice, simple way to get started. It's a nice, easy method to remember. So what we need to do is I'm going to come up another 10 millimeters from the bottom edge. I'm going to leave a little indent with my pencil. And I'm going to draw that across the entire length of the page. Again, double checking that my rule is nice and parallel. And I now have a nice title block section. What I can then do is I can divide it into various sections. So I'm going to give 120 millimeters away to the name portion of it. So this first section here is going to contain the name. The second section here, I'm going to place 120 millimeters away again. And that's going to have the title of the drawing. And then this next section, I'm going to make a little bit smaller. Let's make it 60 millimeters. Then we're going to have another 60 millimeters. And then finally one last section. So with them little marks, again, I could have used the rule on my sliding rail here as well. That would have been acceptable. So the first 120 millimeters is given over to the name. So I'm just going to draw that line across. And then the second line and third. Okay, we now have some separations along the title bar. And what we can do is we can place our name in the first portion, a drawing title in the second portion, the date, the scale of the drawing, and the rev of the drawing as well. So, uh, I may be on rev A or one. So, drawing rev A, the date. So let's go for the 12th of the third 2000 for example that would be a date uh, the scale of the drone could go in so we can go scale and let's say the scale is 1 to 50 on this particular drone I'll do a separate drone on a separate video on scale so don't worry if you don't understand exactly what that means just yet. And then the title of the drawing. So this is an example. Okay, 
and then finally the author's name it's the simple title block that and as you progress into more complicated drawings you will get more complicated title blocks that include a lot more information 